Hello again, and how are we all? Right, so as I was recording the first of the two videos I uploaded today, I've been hearing some rumours about a Gamera trailer. Now, um, it's gone up, I've got it preloaded, and we're going to have a reaction. I have not seen this yet. I've seen a couple screenshots here and there, but they were very kind of pixelated, so I haven't seen it in full HD yet. But um, I'm basically going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. Now, I did do a video a while back talking about the possibility of a Gamera movie that was meant to be this year, but I now know that this is going to be in about 2017, so in a way it's going to clash with Godzilla 2, possibly Skull Island, if, or is that out in 2016? I forget. Anyway, so in case anyone doesn't have any clue who Gamera is, basically he's a giant turtle with protruding fangs, breathes fire. Um, I'm pretty sure the first film came out, um, what was it, 19, was it 1959 or was it 1964? Better Google that one actually. Okay, so just to give you a basic breakdown, um, he is Godzilla's box office rival in many senses of the word. Um, by this time, I've seen a fair few of the Showa movies, the first generation. I've got the entire Heisei trilogy right here on DVD. Now, the third one, what was it? Revenge of Iris or Awakening of Iris was the first one I ever saw. It's to me, still one of the best kaiju movies ever made. Then I found Attack of Legion. My God, the glare. And I actually found that over here, which was surprising considering you didn't get many kaiju films in big branded stores. And then there was the first one, The Guardian of the Universe. Now, this one took me freaking forever to find. I couldn't find it on Amazon, eBay, freaking anywhere. So when I finally found it, I was like, <gasps> so there's the Heisei. Um, and lastly, there was the Gamera Millennium film, which came out in 2006. Um, gotta be honest, I watched it pretty underwhelming, but I think I'll do a full review of that sometime in the future, as well as a little something for the Heisei trilogy. Right, put those to the side. All right, enough beating around the bush. Let's get this reaction underway. Okay, guys, I've got the trailer here. It's preloaded. We're ready to go. So let's full screen and get stuck right in. I've no idea what to expect. A lot of destruction, a bit of fire. Starts off well. All right, ten years ago. Okay. Oh, that was a that was a freaking gauss. That was a goddamn gauss. Quite a few of them, what? As well, goddamn. I don't know, kind of iffy on the design. They seem like hyper gauss. Oh, typical kaiju scene. We've got a lot of running. Wait, was that guy in Gamera Three? I don't know. The outfit looks familiar. Yeah, the gauss looked like hyper gauss. Do got nommed. Yeah, this is definitely not pulling any punches. It's going to be graphic as hell. Okay, they're definitely hyper gauss. Ooh, we got some cannibalism. Typical of the gauss from the Heisei trilogy. Ooh. Ooh! His freaking eye popped out! Oh yeah, this is going to be very, very graphic. For a kaiju film, anyway. Ooh! <laughs> oh, is this who- is this Gamera? The music is setting the scene very nicely here. Holy crap it is. 
They've got the layered shell, I like this. Oh yeah. Now from this, I'd say this is a reference to the scene in Attack of Legion. Alright, big gulp of air. A whole swarm of gals. Wait a Oh, ho, 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 I'm liking this design already. Very rectangular. It's more like a terrapin's head. But I like it. Oh, ho, ho, holy shit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dude's got toasted. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. CG's not looking bad, I'll admit. Whoa. Man, have stealed their crap out of that. Oh, they got the classic roar. But it sounds deeper. I like. I'm liking this. Holy shit. Alright, ten years later. Okay. What have we got? Surprise me. Oh, we've got another kaiju. Is it Iris? No, it's a new kaiju. Holy shit. Real ugly shit, too. Whoa! That's a gravity attack. That is... That was gravity. Or some kind of reality distortion ability. I'm, among the chaos... It was him again. Oh, we're gonna get a good look at Gamera this time. Yeah, but, Yes, let's have the money shot. Come on. Holy crap, he looks mean as shit. Very thick head and neck. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. What the hell? An Ultraman movie? Oh, I'll check that out next. But, whoa. Oh, okay. So, um, based on what I've seen, I have a theory. Okay, so... A lot of Gauss. That father character was dressed very similar to um, one of the characters from the Heisei trilogy. And from the look of it, I'd say that's what this is. It's going to be a successor to Gamera 3. And there's quite a few shots that are reminiscent of stuff we saw in the Heisei trilogy. Um, let's see. The design on Gauss, that's going to... It's definitely a hyper gauss, but it seems to have evolved a little bit more. Like you see the ridges down its back. Not too sure on the head design. I don't know, the eyes look a bit too but circular for my liking. I did like the maneuverability they displayed. They are definitely a threat. But it's Gamera's design that easily takes this without any shadow of a doubt now personally I am looking forward to this this is like the real guardian of the galaxy and things are definitely shaping up I know this is very early but um, what they had the gamma raw but they made it sound deeper which is fantastic they did the same thing with Godzilla they made it sound a bit more guttural in how they approached it um, as for Gamera's design I'm absolutely okay with that um, the general story is that the ga a, a swarm of Gauss attacked Tokyo and Gamera basically vaporized them now this actually on that thought could this be a successor to the Heisei Trilogy, especially this one in particular, Gamera 3. Because, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, um, at the end, Gamera's just defeated Iris, he's injured, and there's a swarm of Gauss coming towards Tokyo. Despite his injury, Gamera goes off to deal with the Gauss threat. Now, there was a kind of sequel of sorts, for the Heisei trilogy already, which was Gamera for the Truth, which was a fan film, if I remember right. And um, a little bit of the Millennium film was based off of the same thing. 
where Gamera goes off and fights the Gauss, he ends up sacrificing himself to save humanity. And from looking at this trailer, that's what I'm thinking. It's a sequel to Gamera 3, which fans have been asking for for a very, very long time. Um, as for the whole storyline about the one kid survivor, now children are very prevalent throughout Gamera. For example, every film has involved a child in some way. Like the first film, for example, um, they say Gamera is a monster in a modern world and um, he was frightened by it, that's why he just leveled half of Tokyo. And it took a child to make him kind of realize this and then just leave. Um, also in the Heisei, this is relevant as well because um, throughout, well the Heisei has the best continuous storyline and it always involves a child of some sort. From when Gamera first appears in the first film, they use these... Um, like medallions or whatever. I can't remember what they're called exactly. They're like uh, Magatamas, I think. And um, a girl gets one as a present from her father who's working on the site where these were found. And it's also the seal that keeps Gamera locked away. I could go into the big story, but I'll do that in a review at a later date. And um, basically that girl is Gamera's link to humanity. Now, in Attack of Legion, Gamera basically severs his connection with humanity because he basically wants to go it alone. And there's also another bit of this thrown around in Gamera 3. And it seems to be somewhat related to what we're seeing here in this new film. There's nothing much else I can really say but one thing did catch my attention, as you obviously saw from my reaction, and that's the new kaiju that was shown. Now, it's its ability that gets my attention. It had those kind of distorting orbs that then exploded. Um, I know I've seen an ability something like that before, where it distorts something within a certain space. And that makes it implode. Um, I think that's some degree of a gravity ability. I know I've seen some kaiju use something similar. And I think it may have been Ultraman. At some point. I'm definitely sure I have. But um, its design is what got my attention. Now, Gauss are going to be in it. Because similar to how Godzilla and King Ghidorah are, you know, they are arch rivals within that continuity. The Gauss are to Gamera as King Ghidorah is to Godzilla. So you can't have kind of one without the other. But um, yeah, the Gauss are confirmed, this new kaiju. Now, I have a theory based on what I've saw there. Now, if you've seen Gamera 3, sorry I'm really spoiling Gamera 3, but in Gamera 3 they, st they specifically state that the antagonist, Iris, is a subspecies of Gauss, a mutation so to speak, and since the Gauss are heavily featured in this trailer, that's got me thinking that this new kaiju could be along the similar lines. You know, it's a Gauss, but it's a mutated subspecies of some kind. Or maybe it's um, some kind of spiritual successor to um, Iris, which in itself was an interesting kaiju because it was linked to humanity in a similar way to Gamera, except the Magatama was dark and it had more of a lethal point to it. Um, as far as the entire trailer goes, I was hyped, I'll be honest. Um, let's see, the design of Gamera, I like. The Gauss are going to need um, a slight remodel, mainly in the head. I definitely want to hear that classic Gauss, like, Screech remixed. The destruction, I liked. Um, 
CG, I'm kind of on the fence because, um, you know, kaiju films have always usually been done with a person in a suit. But um, with Godzilla 2014, you know, Godzilla was completely rendered CG. And to be honest, he looked good. I don't care what anyone says. Godzilla in that film looked great. And um, Gamera is going that way. He's looking pretty damn good. I like the redesign. I like the fact they kept the layered shell. Um, we saw him breathing fire. Great destructive power. There's going to be a fair amount of gore because we had the eyes popping, which again happened in Gamera 3. So, all in all, it looks like it's going to be a successor in some, of some degree for Gamera 3. And I can't wait to give this film a look if this is for real. Right, um, my god, have I really been talking for about eight minutes? I am so sorry. For a I never usually do these kind of videos that often, but um, it's a kaiju film, you know. I will put my two pennies worth in if it's of any interest to anybody. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this, you know, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've seen the trailer yourself, I'd like to know what you guys think of it. So if you could put that in the comment section down below or tweet me or whatever, that'd be awesome. Right, until next time, see ya!